What's going on guys? So it's delivery day and the Supra's here to our new house. Hold. So I think that's how I'm gonna start this video. And we'll show you, there's a really nice um, mid eighties Camaro coming off the trailer now. And then my Supra's behind it. So let me show you that. she is just waiting to get unloaded I gotta put a battery in her because my battery's a piece of crap but there's this pretty sweet Camaro Z28 I think it's pretty sweet there's my baby all right I gotta go grab the battery and then uh, I'll show you guys her pulling out new battery installed There she is. Okay. I feel like the Strad man right now. You're good. Oh, I missed you. Yeah. All right, guys, so as you saw, the Supra is back home and um, I didn't actually film this because I did it the other day but I figured I'd at least show you guys what I did um, I got a Odyssey battery um, with uh, the help of Ryan Scott from Pure Function he told me you know which one to get I watched some of his videos and talked to him on the phone and we discussed which one to get so, there's my new battery set up, and if you look, it sits nice and flush, so my cover sits good. And then, I was having my battery dying, and me being me, which is dumb, I had the 12 volt switch hooked up, excuse me, hooked up to my light here, so the relays constantly had 12 volt power. So I talked to my tuner, uh, Lauren Shipman, and we ended up going all the way up to the ignition fuse on the driver's side kick panel. So now it's not 12 volt constant anymore. It's officially 12 volt switch. I did take it for a ride today and um, felt good. Um, that's bright out in Mississippi. Oh, and it's actually really nice having uh, vehicles stay clean. Like the Beamer looks, I cleaned it like a week ago and it still looks good. And this is our new house. Um, this is the garage, it's a pretty decent size. As you can see, the Jeep and the Supra fit, and there's plenty of room on both sides of the Jeep to walk around. But the garage is lacking some outlets. That is the only outlet. Actually, I forgot to plug this freezer back in. 
should probably do that. All right. So the garage is lacking outlets. That is the only outlet. And this is the game plan. I'll show you guys. So I got everything to put in more outlets, more circuit breakers, because I have some blanks in the box. I got PEX to run. My... Um, water for the pressure washer. I got my uh, GFCI. Yep, I actually said it right for once. For the pressure washer. And then the goal, this all needs cleaned out obviously, but the goal is to tap into the feed line over there. And then run the water up into the attic, because I have space. Bring it all the way down over to here somewhere in this general area. The pressure washer actually needs to go up a little bit. And then I'm gonna have it kick out. And then from there, I'm going to be purchasing the Obsessed Garage. Um, just a bunch of their products. I'm getting their lights for in the garage because that's that and that is the only light I have and they suck. So I'm getting six four bulb LED lights for the garage. Obviously three on each side. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of that monstrosity and doing the flush mount one over on the side. Um, oh yeah, and then I'm gonna get another toolbox and then I'm gonna do two tall cabinets and two hanging small cabinets. Three stainless steel shelves besides the beside the pressure washer for all the cleaning supplies. <laughs> and then there'll be an outlet. I gotta put in an outlet there an outlet here that's gonna go into the tall cabinet for all the electric power tools. An outlet here and an outlet over there. So it'll be five, yeah, yeah, five, not five, five. Five outlets. Um, that's what the yellow wire is for, is for the GFCI uh, for the pressure washer. And that has to be a 20 amp circuit. Um, but I got everything I need. Um, I have a contractor coming uh, well, that looks bad. That's from when that deer hit her. What the? Okay, anyway. Um, so I have a contractor coming Friday the 16th. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And we're going to knock all this out. Uh, minus the lights. I haven't bought the lights yet um, through Obsessed Garage. So when we sold our house in Pennsylvania, we were very fortunate and profited and were able to pay off everything. So we have no debt other than this house, um, you know, the mortgage. So we're very fortunate and I feel very blessed that we're able to be in a position at the age of, you know, I'm 38 and I have no debt. I own all the cars. All the, the only title we're waiting on right now is the Supra, which is pretty awesome, which the Supra is technically for sale. If someone gives me $80,000, I will let the Supra go. It's not worth $80,000, but you, well, you couldn't buy a Supra left-hand drive with the mileage this one has, which is kind of high miles, but you still couldn't buy one and build it to what I built it to for less than 80,000. So technically it, I guess it is worth 80, probably more if you want to look at it that way. Um, the only thing it needs is to get the motor built, which I'm looking for a two JZ GE VVTI motor, um, that I'm going to build, probably do a stroker motor and then the rest of the car needs painted and that's it. That's all it needs. Um, everything else is pretty much done. So, um, it's kind of where I'm at with the Supra. Um, I would sell it. I, I don't have to, but I would. And if I sold it, I would get probably a, a Porsche 911, uh, probably a 991.2 GT3. Um, if I don't sell the Supra in a couple years, I plan on getting a 991.1 Carrera S. Um, just a completely different car. Uh, the Supra is extremely fast and in a straight line, it's ridiculous. I want something that is decent horsepower, but is made for 
hitting turns. I do not feel comfortable hitting turns in the Supra. It's just, I don't feel like that car's built for that. And it's not, I mean, that's not what I built it for. I built it for a 60 to 130 car. So I, um, I do not think that it's made for hitting turns. Um, with that being said, um, you know, it's available. If someone wants to give me $80,000 for it, you can have it. Um, but eventually I want to get, if I do keep it, which I probably will because no one's going to give me $80,000 for it, um, I need to get 305s for the rear because it's on 295s. I need to get it finished painted, build the motor, and do a Recaro Sportster seats because the Sparkos are okay. There's nothing wrong with them. But I want the Recaros because they're a little bit wider and they fit me better because I'm a bigger guy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think what you guys are going to start seeing from me now is going to be building the garage. I'll do a garage build. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film. I got to talk to uh, my contractor. And if he's okay with me filming while he's here, then I'll, I'll film, you know, us doing some of that. Um, getting the water set up and all that. Um, but I, I got like $2,600 worth of stuff I got to buy from Obsessed Garage. Uh, Matt has, from Obsessed Garage, has corrupted me. And uh, even to the point of like how I mount TVs on the wall now and just everything being clean and now that we don't live on a dirt road anymore it's easier to keep things clean so um yeah so that's kind of where i'm at with everything um i don't know it's kind of more of an update video i guess i could show you guys the house so So when you first come in, we have a pantry, finally, which we never had before, which is pretty awesome. And then laundry room is here. Brand new washer and dryer. By the way, this house is brand new. It's a brand new build. Uh, and then in the kitchen, you know, everything here is brand new. We had to buy um, a fridge, which we, splurged and got a, a very nice fridge was what we wanted it has a nice little coffee bar and then i'm pretty sure the wife wants to get rid of this table and do like a round one but then we got like our other bar <laughs> this is the couch from the basement um we sold the couch and love seat that was upstairs and we got this one and then got an ottoman which is really nice and then i picked up that which makes me super happy. It's a 75 inch Q, I, don't, I think it's a QLED. It's not OLED, I think it's a QLED. Um, 75 inch TCL, it was a couple thousand dollars. And then um, Apple TV, which I'm, after having Amazon Fire Stick for so long, Apple TV destroys it, it is so much nicer. Um, and then the dog's got a nice big, well, not as big as their last backyard, but they do have a decent sized fenced in backyard. Um, I actually probably should have checked to make sure that our pest control guy actually shut the gate all the way. You know, it looks like he did. Um, but yeah, part of buying the house was getting the fence put in, um, it actually looks bigger on camera than it really is, but it's uh, it's a decent size. I would say it's, if you remember our Florida house, it's probably about that size, maybe a tiny bit bigger than the Florida house uh, backyard. And then this is my, I love this thing. So I got this. It's a Cuisinart 360 degree flat top. This is so much better than a regular grill. And it was, it was like $400, but well worth it. I've cooked so much food on this thing already and I don't regret 
this purchase at all. And I, I wanted to get the Evo one, but they're like $5,000. And I just, I just couldn't justify it yet. But the nice thing about this one is, is I can take like everything apart if I wanted to. And if we got like a built-in outdoor kitchen, this could mount to it if I wanted to and get rid of this, which is kind of cool. But so it's a four bedroom house, a little over 1800 square feet. And we finally have a bedroom set. And then we have a nice, you know, nice setup in the bathroom, walk-in shower, toilet with a door that you can actually use. And then we each have our own closet. So there's hers and the tub and then my closet. And then the big thing with this house has been organization. So, I mean, as you can see, everything's, my closet still needs work. Let's uh, just shut that. <clears throat> but I mean, we, we, you know, we're doing the whole organization thing. There's some stuff in here. My favorite is this. It was like, uh, I love it. Especially I, I, since I do most of the cooking, I, I love it. Same with up here, more organization. And then eventually she's gonna tackle the pantry. But like, it, it's even into the fridge. She got these holders for soda, holders for, for eggs, like, It's crazy organized, which is what we wanted to do now that we have the means to do it. And then that's the office. Um, I thought the office desk was bigger, but it, it's not, but it works. And we still have unpacking to do. And then there's another dual sink bathroom for guests um which is pretty nice yeah it's a mess and then this this back bedroom is um as the wife just said it's a shit show but you know we literally moved in like a couple weeks ago so we're getting there that's pretty much it um I will, hopefully the next video will be like me and the contractor working on the garage and like figuring that out. Um, and then eventually I'm gonna be doing Swiss tracks in there. And then I would like to do a scissor lift. I don't know if I'm gonna do a noose bomb or not, new, however you say it. The one that Matt uses from Obsessed Garage. I'd like to, it seems like a really nice lift. And if I did a mid rise, would probably fit perfect in the in the garage um the supra would have to get move over a little bit more towards the center to make it work but i, I think it would fit perfect in there uh but we'll figure that out um so but i appreciate you guys watching and hopefully you're interested in this garage build and to see like a more i finally don't have to remodel a house so you get to see like a more refined um garage and you'll get to see the transformation of that and then you know we'll go from there all right guys later